Hi, I'm Jeff Lemon, principal at North Middle School. And today we are interviewing our eighth graders for work ethic certification. These kids are really excited about it. We think it's very important for our students to be prepared for high school and life. So this is going to give them an opportunity to get some experience learning how to interview. And we have some great volunteers in our community and our schools that have come in and interviewing these young people and giving them feedback. So we think it's important for them to take that feedback as they move on to high school and in life. Yes. What's your last name, Braden? Fuller. Fuller. Nice to meet you, Braden. Nice to meet you. So I'm Mr. Mahone. I'm the freshman assistant principal over at North Arden High School. Um, so what we're going to do today is going to be a work ethic certification interview. So I'm just going to ask you some questions, okay? And you can answer them the best you can, okay? And then we'll talk about it when we're done. So tell me a little bit about yourself, Braden. Uh, well, I play baseball, and I like the I like business and marketing. That's what I'm aiming for. Okay. And like the culinary kind of pathways. That's what I like. And more creative, and I like to work in groups and stuff. Awesome. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so your chosen career pathway is going to be business. Yes. Okay. Why business? I like uh, I like the marketing and like selling and being able to advertise and. Uh, and working groups, that's what I like about it. What if I told you uh, next door we have a class that is sports marketing? That's the name of the class. It sounds like, oh. it sounds like something you might like. Yeah, I think that's what uh, I was going for. Yeah, so it was actually, it was really cool in the class. It was like a project. They had a sports team, and they had to design, uh, like, how were they going to promote it, how much they were going to charge for stuff. It was kind of actually really fun. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I Sounds like something you might like. Yeah. What is one word that best describes you, and why is that helpful in your chosen career field? Probably creative, because if you're creative, you can, it helps you sell things. Uh, it'd be more like, it'd look better to the, the sellers. And, uh, Excellent. People would want to buy it. Good answer. Raiden, good answer. Explain why excellent attendance is expected, and not only your chosen career, but at all jobs. So that you don't... Uh, People don't have to cover for you, and you're always there for uh, to help the business out, and you're not just off and on. Excellent. So, what do you think that it means to be professional? It means to like always be there on time, and uh, always be there mostly, and do your job good, and and. Like, say when you make a mistake, but don't do it all the time, don't make it a habit. That's what it means. I like that answer. I like that answer. When you, when you start working, do you think you'll be able to do all those? Yes. So describe, give me an example of teamwork that you've, you've experienced. Probably in my baseball team, or when I work in groups in school. Uh, or like a, a group project in the class, that's what I do. Okay, so let me ask you this. So let's we'll take the baseball team, okay? What made that, what makes that team work successful? It's the communication and uh, talking to your teammates and being there for each other and don't bring your team down. Absolutely. Are you a good communicator? Yes. That's a good skill to have. Being a good communicator, that'll help you no matter what job you pick. So, uh, on your report card, do you get? Uh, do you guys get a work ethic grade? Uh, yeah. What was yours? Do you remember? No. Yeah. So, do you think it would have been positive or negative? Positive. Positive. Why do you think that? Because uh, I do well in my classes, and I do remember it being a pretty good grade. So. Okay. Well, let's talk about your interview. How do you think you did? I got it. You did really good. Uh, let me tell you what answer I like the most. So here's what I like. The one word you used to describe yourself, you said creative. I think that's awesome. I think regardless of what job you pick, being creative is excellent. That's excellent. You always want to try to think outside the box, right? So I really like that answer a lot. I also liked, uh, I asked you what you thought meant to be professional. 
and you said, you gave really good examples. You said, be on time, show up, do your job, and you said, own your own mistakes. So I thought that was awesome. That, that speaks a lot about you. Uh, just showing up, doing your job, <laughs> that's awesome right there. So in here, I'm circling that one, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Braden, it was really nice meeting you, okay? And if you ever need anything, you let me know, okay? We'll edit that out. My name is Dan Mahone. I am the freshman assistant principal at North Arden High School. They asked me to come over and help out with the work ethic certification interviews. I think this is absolutely awesome. Uh, it gives kids, uh, it gives students a real-time opportunity to be interviewed by someone that's not in their building every day, a new face they see. And it's kind of, we're really, we're setting the, setting the stage for them to be successful as they enter the other phase of life, uh, giving them some interview skills, giving them some real life experience that they may not otherwise get. So I think this is a win-win for everybody. Plus it gives me an opportunity to see some students that'll be over there next year. So I'm, uh, I'm trying to plant some seeds too. break out of your shell a little bit. Listen, early childhood education, but <laughs> you will get that, you need to do that, yes. What grade do you want to teach? Like kindergarten, first, second grade? Or any of them? That's awesome. What is one word that best describes you and why is that helpful in your chosen career path? How do you think that would help you in a classroom? What kind of things would you be looking out for? Explain why excellent attendance is expected in not only your chosen career field, but all jobs. Why? Why is it important, though? Think about an elementary school classroom. Who's relying on you to be there? Yes, most importantly, right? Who else might be relying on you? Staff. The staff. Yeah. If you're not there, what happens? Right. Especially in early education, those students need something consistent, right? They need somebody who they know is going to be there. And they um, are so excited to be at school and see their teacher every single day, so that's very important. Please share with us what you think it means to be professional and how you would portray that in a work environment. Is it important to, as a follow-up question, is it important to only be respectful to the people you work with and your boss, or who else do you need to be respectful to in early education? Yes, right? Everyone around you. Describe an example of teamwork that you have experienced. What was the group project on? Okay, like Indian tribes? What made that group project successful? We worked together and communicated. Did you ever have anyone who maybe disagreed with what you were thinking for an idea for that project? Yeah, how did that how did that play out? Do you have a 
strong work ethic with positive scores on your report card for the grade eight. Why or why not? shows that you are willing to show up every day uh, you know that attendance plays a key part of it like you mentioned earlier you won't be able to show up and you know students and staff will, will rely on you to be there just as much as your classmates and teachers rely on you to be here right now right yeah so that's what we've been practicing for all year um, that is my last question for you do you have any questions for me no ma'am Awesome. Well, I thought that this was fantastic. It looks like you are dead set on that early childhood and career. When I was your age, that's all I wanted to do, too, was working in elementary school. Um, and I like how you related each of these questions back to what you would want to do in, in your career. Um, so number two, you said that you were observant, and how would that apply to you in that classroom? So that's fantastic. Um, and you did that all the way throughout. So that was, I think, you did a really, really great job. No questions? Awesome. Well, then that is it. Do you want a piece of candy? Absolutely. It was nice to meet you, Havana. My name is Molly Gallagher. I am actually the eighth grade interventionist here at North Middle School. Um, so I am one of their teachers, and I think this is so important for the kids to get to practice with, you know, I know I may be a familiar face, but getting out into the, and talking with the community members is um, incredibly important for them to, you know, um, see that their actions in school are being held accountable. You know, they are um, learning all of these work ethic standards, and I think this interview shows that, oh, they have been paying attention to what I've been doing in school. Um, and I think that that's something that that's going to carry into high school and then their career afterwards. Um, I know for myself that I did not have this opportunity to practice interviews prior to college, really. Um, so that's very awesome that we are starting at this young age. You're doing the dance and what else? Um, that's what I said. Gaps? I said yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so with the Beta Club, you've experienced teamwork through the Beta Club. Everybody works together to reach one goal? Well, we all have, well, some of us have separate ones. Like, it just depends on what we're doing. Oh, okay. So sometimes it's separate, sometimes it's collective. Okay. And do you feel like it's successful? Why? Uh, because we all come together and work and we end up meeting our goal. Okay. Everyone works, everyone does their part, right? Do you have a strong work ethic with positive scores on your report card for the grade eight? Yes, for the most part. Okay, and wh why do you feel like that's important? Because without them, like, uh, without the work that you did, <laughs> without the what? Without them, uh, it's like, it's, I don't know. I think it's important to get good grades, and I mean, you can go to college, oh, you can get scholarships. Grades? Yes, grades on your report card. Oh, yeah, it's important for that because if you get good grades and go to college, you can get, off, get a better job and things like that. You just have more knowledge and stuff like that. Okay. Is there anything else that you want to add before we conclude Any questions for me? Thank you so much. That concludes our interview. I just want to give you a little bit of feedback on your interview. I thought you did very well. There were a couple of times when I couldn't hear you very well. So when you go in to do the interview once you get to high school, practice uh, projecting your voice and speaking louder so that the, whoever's interviewing you can understand you. But other than that, you did an amazing job. You'll be an amazing culinary chef one day. I'll be coming to your restaurant to eat all of your creative dishes. And so I'm excited about that. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. My name is Selena Hudson. I am a councilwoman in the city of Vine Grove and I own a business. I think it's important for these kids to learn this 
a great work ethic is important. They will use it in their career moving forward. They will use it in, I mean, a great work ethic. They can use that now. <laughs> it's uh, it just in their schoolwork, in their learning, and in everything that they want to do. These children here are very bright. They know what they want to do. They know where they want to go. And I'm just really excited to do this every year. So. Career. A strong work ethic in your culinary career. Is that important? Well, don't get me wrong, but most chefs work what? Night, probably, right? I mean, restaurants typically open midday to the you know, late evening sometimes. And so, you know, if, if you don't have a strong work ethic, you've got to take care of yourself. So you have to get rest at night after work. Uh, if you were someone who wanted to go home and stay up all night and then be tired at work, then you're probably not going to do your best. And so I think a strong work ethic in the culinary field would be that you, in your off hours, you have to manage your time fairly wisely. Um, when I was working at a, at a restaurant in college, um, in college, young, um, if you didn't manage your time wisely, then, then you, you know, you, you would you would not do well in certain areas. Wouldn't get studying done. Um, someone else would have to pick up the slack if you didn't make it to work. And so it's very important to have a strong work ethic in whatever you do. And I think you probably do, since your grades are so good. Um, you seem very uh, um, um, a positive person. Uh, you seem like you. you uh, if you do miss school, you try to make contact with your teachers. Some people don't do that. I mean, you probably have friends that don't do that. Um, and, and even in softball, I mean, you're on the high school softball team. If you don't put in maximum effort behind the plate when you're playing catcher, then the whole team's going to suffer. And so I think you're right on when it comes to the work ethic part. You have to have a strong work ethic, especially in the field that you're going into. Is there school? Are there schools around here that you can go to for culinary experience? I think Camerville. Camerville College has a culinary school. What about the, the ECTC or EC3 over here? Yes. Have you looked into that? Do you think that might you might do that? I think so. Yeah. Okay. When can you enter that program? I think it's sophomore and junior year. Sophomore junior year, and you you can predict or you can, you can choose what career path you want and they have a culinary program at EC3. Very good. That's a, that's a really, really important program. Um, there are some high schools that don't afford that. Um, you have to take what we have, and, and, and mainly a lot of it is geared toward academics. A lot of it is geared toward college preparatory work. Not everybody wants to, not everybody's you know, excited to go to a university. Campbellsville has a culinary school, and that's what you want to do. Then, then taking that class or, or, take, or taking those classes, getting that culinary degree, even starting here at EC3 is going gonna, is gonna to set you up for success. So that's, it's great that you've looked into that and that you have that option. Well, very good. I, it was great talking to you today. Um, they're probably going to do this again at the high school. This is kind of just a... Uh, practice session. But listen, I'm going to look up that recipe you told me, and I'm, uh, I'm going to see if my wife likes it. But uh, it's been nice talking to you today. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you very much. Yeah, very important to make for sure, right, that you're getting, getting your work completed. Is there anything else you'd like to tell me about yourself, Debbie? No? Where did you go to elementary school? Did you go to elementary school here in Redcliffe? No? I just asked because I'm, I work at one of the elementary schools, so I didn't think I knew who you were. Well, so let's kind of talk about a little bit about your answers today. You did a really nice job um, telling me about what your future kind of looks like for you, at least going into high school next year. And I thought that it's uh, you did a great job sharing with me. I can really tell that you are passionate about making sure that you take your commitment seriously, right? That you get done what you 
know needs to be done and that people can count on you, so that was awesome. When you give uh, an interview in the future, just one thing, like maybe, and I know I was leaning over and I was trying to hear you, but maybe, you know, like sitting up and projecting yourself, and I know you were projecting your voice really loudly, because I could still hear you um, with your mask on, which was really good. So I thought you did an excellent job today, um, and I really hope you have a great end of your eighth grade year, and I hope you really enjoy going to hospital next year. It was nice to meet you. How tall are you? I'm five tall. You're tall, aren't you? So you, you like it here? I mean, it's a pretty good school. Good, good deal. Um, well, I taught over at James Town for like 27 years, so I just recently retired a couple of years ago. How was it? It was good. It was good. You know, the big thing is like liking kids. If you don't like kids, you shouldn't teach. Believe me. You know, seriously. You got to take all the good with the bad and all that, so it's all good. So what uh, what is your chosen career pathway for high school? Um, engineering. Engineering? Really? And what made you uh, choose that? So what Basically, the um, influence of me and my family, my brother's an engineer. He works in what you call Atlanta right mm -hmm. now. Uh, yeah, we mainly see him. Um, it's pretty good money to help out um, my family. So you in it for uh, the money too, huh? Yes, sir. Well, you gotta, you gotta have money to pay bills. That's for sure, huh? Right. And uh, what's one word that best describes Keyshawn? Creative. Uh, Creative. You like to draw? Not so much. I like to make things. Okay. So, when you say you like to make things, what things do you like to make? Um, like, you know what pipe cleaners are? Yeah. I like to make, like, uh, like let's say, actual things or, like, Dragons and stuff like that. Like, like something that's fictional or not. So you can take something and make it into something fictional? Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's anything right. that comes to mind. All right. Uh, explain why you think excellent attendance would be expected in not only your chosen career, but in all jobs, even here at school. Even here at school. Um, it builds chemistry with the people you're around with um, just to show up. It shows us you're um, trustworthy and you can be dependent on it's real important that you understand that attendance is very important because I'm an employer and I've hired you to come to work every day and you show up two days out of five, I don't, I'm pretty much, I don't need you. You know, I need to find somebody who's going to show up all five days. Not only that, I need somebody who can show up on time. If you come in late, 30 minutes late, 15 minutes late, uh, even five minutes late continuously, well, that tells your employer, well, you must not like the job right now because you wouldn't be showing up late because I need somebody to show up on time and get my money's worth. If I'm going to pay you a wage, I expect something in return, right? So you know, that's important. It's like a lot of people nowadays, I don't know why it is, but if you show up for an interview and you're not looking professional or you show up late or you don't show up at all, what employer hires those type of people? You know? Not too many, huh? Not too many. So it's important that not only you show up on time, even if you show up 30 minutes early, the employer might say, look, this dude must want this job because they're 30 minutes early. Just compared to this other person who showed up 20 minutes late for the interview, which one do you think is going to get hired? The one 20 minutes late or the one that showed up 30 minutes early? Yeah, of course, absolutely. All right, what, what do you think it means to be professional? I do a, I do a career? Yeah. I think it needs to be professional because overall, 
your attitude while doing your job. You're paying, like, you're paying, good, at, um, paying good attention to the details that come with it as well. Um, to be professional, you, know, you meet, to me, you meet the requirements that is um, given to you. Okay. Describe an example of teamwork you've experienced and what made that collaboration successful. Teamwork to me, it means like you and your partner on the same page and that you're, you're both move, moving at a pace that is comfortable for the both of you. And an example of that for me would be like me and my friend Cameron, which is um, over there. We have been, we've had a project and since we're much alike, our we move at the same pace, we end up getting it done because our attitude with each other is great. We listen to each other's ideas, and we overall, um, we just, we stuck to what was needed, and we got it done. Very good. Uh, do you have a strong work ethic and positive scores on your report card as far as your grades and stuff? I do. Okay. What do you think? Do you make A's, B's, or A, B, C's, or? A, A's and B's. A's and B's? Yeah. As long as you get your work turned in, uh, you'll be fine. Yeah. As long as you try. That comes with your job also. As long as you try, you know, have a good attitude while you're doing it, you'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, if you fail middle school, you have to almost try to fail middle school. Yeah. You know, you just get your work done. That's the key, just like you said. Get your work done. Okay. Keyshawn, you got any questions to me, buddy? What do you, what do you look for in your employee? If I had an employee, if they came to me and said, uh, I'd love to work for you, I would look for you. Number one, dependable. You got to be dependable. Show up to work on time or before you're supposed to be there. Dress accordingly, dress professional if needed, you know. You might have a job and you don't have to dress a professional, you know. Like, uh, you see Mr. Loman as a principal here, right? Do you see him in shirt and tie every day? Every day. Do you see him in shirt and tie Sunday? Do you see him uh, dressed terrible on days no he's always looking neat clean professional right no matter whether he has a tie on or not uh that's what they're looking for i'm looking for somebody that's wanting to work wanting to earn a good wage and wanting a career somebody i don't have to retrain if i hire you i want you to stay for as long as you want to stay you know i don't want to have to train somebody new every month you know what i mean so I'm looking for somebody that's, that's looking for a career, that wants to stay in one place and get promoted from within, you know, through the job. So uh, engineering, I, I'll tell you what, Keyshawn, I think you're on the right path, buddy. I appreciate you. Hey, I appreciate you coming in here and taking it with you. I hope you can read some of it. <laughs> Have a good one, buddy. You too. It was nice meeting you. You too. I'm a... Uh, Donnie Baker, I represent James Seattle Middle School. I retired from uh, JTA after 27 years. My wife uh, retired there as well. And uh, I was asked to come over here to do this work at the uh, certification. And uh, because I think it's very important that kids nowadays know it's important to be professional, dependable, make sure if they're going on an interview, they need to be there before they're supposed to be there, on time, dressed appropriately, no crocs, no uh, other distracting uh, clothing worn. And it's important for these young uh, adults to understand this when they get out in the real world and have some kind of idea of what they want to do with the rest of their life. So I think this is a good stepping stone to, for that.
obviously you know a little bit about what we're doing. Uh, I'm going to, I've got some questions for you. I'm going to ask you for obviously work, work ethic certification. But it's also a time just to talk. Um, let me know a little bit about who you are and some things that are important to you and what have you. Okay. Um, along this process, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them to me. And uh, we'll just enjoy the conversation. Okay. What is your chosen career pathway for high school and why? I forget the name of it, but I want to be like a nurse. A nurse? Yeah. Okay. Um, I heard they make good money, and that's like always just been something that I wanted to do. Okay. Okay. Anyone in your family a nurse, or is this just a brand new idea for you? It's just an idea. Just an idea for you? That's great. What is one word that best describes you and why is that helpful in your chosen career? Um, I feel like a word that describes me would be respectful. Respectful? I feel like I'm pretty nice to everyone. Okay. No matter what. That's important in every job. Okay, great. Great. Can you explain why excellent attendance is expected in not only your chosen career, but at all jobs? Um, uh, being at work uh, is important because if you don't like show up, they're not going to count on you for things. <laughs> and just like, like being at work and showing up on time every day is something that you're expected to do. Okay. Let me throw some scenarios. Okay. So you want to be a nurse. Okay. So obviously it's important to show up on time as a nurse. But also, let's say you work. You know, you're in high school or you're in college or whatever, and you're trying to make some extra money. So let's say you're working at a restaurant. Is it important to show up on time there? Yes. How can you influence other people by showing up on time, whether it's in a restaurant or as a nurse? Does it affect other people? Maybe it might not be as important to do. You don't think so? But okay. I think it can affect Okay, okay, okay. Are you a little bit nervous? <laughs> I don't really know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> there are no right or wrong answers. Okay? Just talk to me like you're talking to one of your buddies. It's, it would be perfectly fine, okay? Can you share with me what you think it means to be professional and how would you portray that in your work environment? Um, I feel like dressing nice. Um, being respectful to everyone. Okay. Following the rules there. Um, be professional. Um, if you're showing up to work, work late almost every day or not wearing the right clothes and not following the rules. I'm going to ask you a follow-up. You said dressing nice. Why do you think dressing nice helps you be professional? Because it, it kind of shows who you are and when people look at you based on what you're wearing, they could probably judge you. If you're wearing something nice that actually suits your job, they'll think like more highly of you and if you just show up, like, you just woke up for something. I agree 100%. I think that, I think that is so important. Um, especially as a nurse, because when people come to you, they're sick maybe, or they have a, a family member that's sick, so obviously when they walk into a, uh, a hospital or a doctor's office, 
What's the? Where are they going to get their first impression of you? By the way, you're dressed, right? And if you're professional and you look like a nurse, it makes them feel better, right? What if they showed up and their nurse was wearing a pair of shorts, a t-shirt, and a pair of tennis shoes? They, they, probably wouldn't think much they wouldn't be as confident, would they? Yeah, so great answer. Thank you. Can you describe an example of teamwork that you have experienced and what made that collaboration successful? to do this task and it was really hard um, but working with each other made it a lot easier and we got it done. Okay, great, great. Do you have strong work ethic with positive scores on the report card for the grade eight? Yes. Okay. Great. That's all of my formal questions. Do you have any questions for me? No. Well, you know, reflecting on your answers, well, first, one of the things, I've been in several job interviews in my career that I had, I had to hire a lot of people. And one of the things I always tried to do was before the interview, I always wanted to just talk with them about five months. Just about anything except the job. Um, I wanted to do that for a couple reasons. One, I wanted them to not be so nervous in the interview. Because that's one thing I used to really struggle with is being really nervous before I interview for something. And when you're nervous, it's just hard to get past that, right? So I would always try to have a little conversation with them to break the ice. We might talk about how Louisville played last night or how Kentucky played, whatever side you are on there. Um, or we might talk about the weather or, or something just to kind of ease those nerves, okay? So one of my recommendations for you, I could tell, and I, you were really nervous when you got here. You don't know me. You've never seen me before, so I get it, okay? But uh, stick that hand out there. How are you doing? My name is Maya, okay? And then that's going to make me talk to you. And then we're probably going to say, well, how are you doing today? Well, I'm great. So not only will it help the person you're speaking with, but it will help you out significantly. Okay? You have a very nice smile. You present yourself very well. Okay? So kind of keep that in the back of your mind. Also, when you, when you, hand that, you do that handshake, that tells me this person's got confidence. Okay, and confidence is one of the most important aspects you can have. Okay, no matter if it's in a job or just in life, it's an important aspect. Okay, it takes confidence to smile like you do, so I know you have confidence. So make sure they know that when you walk into the room. Okay, you said a word that describes you is respectful, that's a great characteristic. It's fantastic that you recognize that. Okay, so good, good trait. Um, loved your answer about being professional. You talked about professional dress. But basically, you were talking about portraying the image. It's amazing how folks address people by the way they're dressed. Okay? Uh, can't say enough about that. So, I think you did a good job. If I were to give you any advice, again, maybe a little more confident at first, kind of get, you know, find that way that helps you get rid of those nerves, you know, those jitters. We all have them. But uh, maybe find a way to help you get past those. And a lot of times it might be, okay, I'm going to say the first thing first. I'm going to shake their hand. I'm going to say, hi, my name's Maya. How are you doing today? and that will help you smooth right into that, that situation. Any questions? It's been nice meeting you.
enjoy talking with you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. I'm Lonnie Dennis. I'm a retired principal from North Harden High School. Retired, I think, six years already uh, ago. I enjoy doing this every year. It, it gets me back into the schools and, and speaking with students. And um, that's why I made a career out of uh, being a principal. I like being around students, and I like seeing how they're preparing themselves for the future. Right, not on time, Nobody's coming back to get their hair done by somebody who, yeah, left them with, yeah, a messed up hairdo or, yeah, whatever, for a wedding. That's, that's a job you have to be at because of the scheduling. If you miss or you come late to a certain appointment, then your next one will be late. That's you know so much about this. It is really important to be reliable with your scheduling. So, are you reliable now and keep to a schedule? So you and your mom, have you and your mom talked about this a lot? Yeah. 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 I used to actually go to the air school. I was like, I was maybe like 10. And on like the weekends and stuff, when she would go to work, she could take me with her at the air school. And I would just watch and look around and see what Yeah. I have a, I feel like you're probably going to be really successful with this because you already know so much about like the details about what's going to make you successful. That's awesome. All right, so talk to me a little bit about being professional. What does it mean to be professional at work? And you can talk specifically about your experience with the cosmetology. You need to have a good attitude towards your guests. Even if you're not having a good day, you still have to be respectful. If you can't be rude to them, because you'll lose customers, and nobody wants to work with somebody that does that, so you're most likely not really good in that job. Um, what about your co-workers, the other people? Um, it's good to have a good relationship with you, so there's tension. What kind of stuff do you think causes tension at work? Um, like late or talking bad about people and not going to lie really. People don't like to work around people that are late because then they'll have to hear customers complaining. Or yeah, you want to work with other people who put forth the same amount of effort and professionalism as you do. Because I see that around school whenever there's like group activities and somebody's not working and then somebody else is working really hard it causes problems. So they'll get like kind of aggravated that they're putting in a lot of effort and the other person is just Yeah, it's nice to be around folks who are putting in the effort that you are. Can I tell you something you just did that I thought was really good? So you mentioned you were like, um, you want to know that other people are putting in as much effort as you are and reliable. And then you gave me an example of something from school, like what you're doing right now. When you gave me that little story or example, it made me really believe your answer, right? So if you sit down for an interview and they're like, they ask you a question and you go, yes, no. They don't really know you mean it or not. actually experienced Right, it's kind of how like you give evidence whenever you're doing your written answers. You, by giving me that story, it gives me evidence. I'm like, oh yeah, she really knows what she's talking about, and she gave me this little story, and so I believe you. Does that make sense? Yeah. That was really smart. All right, so talk to me a little bit about teamwork, and have you had successful collaborations working in teams before? Um, it depends on the people that you're working with. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes they don't really work, like they don't really put that much effort in. Like they, they don't even mind it, so it kind of depends on the people you're working with. I always put in effort whenever I do because it has to be done by somebody. So, yeah. so you feel like one of the things that's made successful teamwork and collaborations is that you just you take care of your business and do your part. Is there anything else as far as other folks that you notice that help them to? do their business and take care of their part. You know, they work with people that they have a good relationship with. So they can, like, it makes them like in a better mood. Whenever you're put into a group of people and you don't really know them and you don't like, I don't know, you don't have a relationship with them, they don't really see you as willing to do work. So it's good to be working with somebody that you have a relationship with and that you can talk to and actually have fun with while you're doing work. Because if you don't have a relationship with them, it's not really easy to talk to them. It is very insightful and impressive that somebody your age understands that having that relationship with folks is what makes a team work. So what happens if you show up and you don't know somebody and you got to work with them? Um, it's kind of hard to work with 
I mean, you can still work with them, but it takes a lot of get used to them before you can get Yeah. And you might be able to get the work done, but they won't really do that. You're um, very easy to talk to. Yeah, and like I just feel like I'm chatting with you, and so I bet you that that is something you could use when you're working in groups. If there's somebody you don't know, I would guess that you could kind of, I'm not saying be their best friend, but you could kind of chat and get to know them a little bit. It's really, it's easy for you. It's easy for you, isn't it? And that's great because then you do, you made that person feel a little more comfortable and you feel a little more comfortable and then that's when you can pull off that relationship piece, yeah? Because I'm not really quiet. Even if I don't know the person, it's really, I just talk to them and eventually they realize that like, it's okay to talk to them. Yeah, and you shared some things with me about like your family. You know, you didn't go like, unprofessional and talk, like, you didn't tell me too much of your business or your drama. You know, you kept it really professional. So that made me feel like, I was like, oh, like I feel like I'm getting no one I uh, I bet you're really good at that group. So that's really awesome all right I got one last question for you okay and this is the one about your work ethic scores and your report card scores okay so do you think that you have strong scores on your work ethic and your report card and then tell me a little bit about it. yes and usually like I said about the relationship thing whenever I get like comfortable in the class it's easier to do the work and I want to put more effort into it and I especially work hard towards the end because I know that like, eventually I'm going to have to do that. Like earlier on in the year, it was like I didn't really want to be stressed out so that I didn't really put that much effort. But eventually I started to like learn more and I realized that I needed to. So yeah, I put it in. And your grades, are those pretty good too? Yeah. Well, I am very excited for you doing this cosmetology and business pathway. You already have so much insight because of your mom and your experience. I think you could be really successful. And I think you have that magic piece we were talking about a minute ago with being easy to talk to, which is super important in doing people's hair, even though you and I know that because we have family roots, right? I'm going to give you this so you know what you said. I'm going to hand you this back just because it's your only copy. And if this was a real interview, I'd keep it. Right. It was so nice to meet you, Anaya. Thank you. Thank you. you have a good afternoon, okay? One more handshake. Did she get some practice? You did a good job. Elementary school. Woodland Elementary. Woodland, right there with Mr. Arquinio. You're welcome. Got a Woodland graduate here. This is great. Um, so, what do you like about school? Um, I love learning a lot of new things, like, okay. and I love cooperating with people. Yeah, so you're excited about high school? Yes. What was your favorite part about middle school? Um, meeting new people. And well, that's true. So if you went to Woodland the whole time, you're with the elementary group, and then you came here and kind of combined some schools, and high school's going to be just as exciting. So. Well, my name's Mr. Sutton. I'm the Chief of Academic Officer and Chief of Student Services here for Hardy County Schools. So uh, I've been here a long time. And I love to see students like you that are passionate about learning. So that already is impressive to me. So uh, we're excited to ask you a few questions about work ethic, and I uh, can't wait to hear your responses. Are you ready? Great. Uh, so, what is your chosen career pathway for high school and why? Um, ROTC. Okay. Okay, ROTC. So, wh why did you choose the, the military pathway? Uh, because, like, I love helping people and, like, working in, like, the military. You get to work with a lot of new people and cooperate with new people and, like, just learning things. You know, the military is such important, such an important, you know, occupation. You know, you're, you're, you're fighting for your country. And I think that what you said earlier about you like cooperating with people, you like working with people, I can't think of a occupation where teamwork is more important, you know, moving forward. So that's a great answer. Uh, what is one word that best describes you, and why would that be helpful in your chosen career field of the military? Um, cooperative. Okay, why is that? Uh, because when I get told to do something, I do it right away when I'm told to do that. Okay. You sound like you're very much a task improver. Uh, you don't procrastinate. You know what procrastinate means? Uh, it's like you think about doing something, but then you don't want to do it. Yeah, you put things off. And uh, 
and you're right. You know, a lot of times when you're very task oriented, you have to take action. Uh, the military is all about that, very much very organized and, so, and, and cooperative. So explain why excellent attendance is expected, not only in your chosen career of the military, but at all jobs. Why is it important to, for attendance? So they don't have to, like, if it's someone's day off, they don't have to call them in to take them with your shift. And you always want to be there just in case something happens that you really don't know about. Okay. Right. You know, I don't think we realize that how important each teammate is in every organization, whether you're part of a basketball team, a military unit, uh, a school. You know, everybody has to do their part for the team to be successful. And, uh, and you're right, if one person's not there, you got to take up for that person or do their shit or do their job. That, that causes stress on the whole team. So I thought that was a very, very good, uh, very good answer. So what do you think it means to be a professional, and how would you portray that in a work environment? What does it mean to be a professional to you? Like to do something like without knowing or like uh, having much memory on it. You know? And how I portray that in my work environment is like if like I do something every day. I'll just do that, and then if I do some, if I get told to do something new, I'll do that. Now I like what you're saying because you, a true professional knows their craft. And you said that's something you can do automatically. And what you do automatically are things you do every day. That means you develop habits. And uh, so, you know, work, work habits create things, create consistency. So I like the way you say that. Um, Because being professional is knowing what you do and do it well. So thank you, that was a great answer. Uh, describe an example of teamwork you have experienced and what made that collaboration successful? Okay, so I was in social studies class and we had a group of seven. And what made it uh, work is we communicated, we jumped, I like, we got ideas off each other and we brainstormed ideas together. Did you have fully defined roles for each person? Did you know what each person was expected to yes. do? Yes. Uh, one was to keep track of time. One was to um, read the script. I was to um, help brainstorm, and then the other people were to help brainstorm. With me. So, what was the class project? What did you have to complete? Uh, we had to complete like four puzzles. Like it was an escape room. Okay. And it was about pirates. Did you escape? Did you accomplish your goal? Yes, we did. Okay. That's great. Uh, so do you have a strong work ethic with positive scores on your report card for the grade 8 standards? Have you looked at your scores for the yes. grade 8 standards? Yes, I have two ends, and that was because I was missing one assignment because I wasn't here. And okay. Because I had an orthodontic appointment. And then the other one, no, I forgot what the other one was, but I have two ends. Okay. But the impressive thing is that you know your scores, and you know why you didn't get a certain score, and that allows you to correct it for the next time. So that means you are looking. Uh, and grades are where you want it to be right now? Yes, I have all A's and one B. All A's and one B. Wow, that's impressive. So even your grades are solid. And uh, you understand your grade 8 scores. Well, here's what impressed me about your interview. One, you're very confident. Two, you have excellent eye contact. The way you introduced yourself is so important. Um, and the fact that even as an eighth grader, when you're 13, 14 years old, 15. 15, you have an idea of what you want to be. And the fact that you were able to one on one schedule with a counselor here this year and say, I think I'm going to go to ROTC so I can start, you know, pursuing my military career when I graduate. You know, that's impressive. Do you have family in the military? My uncle that I live with and then my older siblings. I have three older siblings and they're all in the military. So you have some great role models. You know what an outstanding career of the military can be. So you already know. Well, thank you for one day uh, fighting for our country and for doing what you do. I look forward to following you in high school at North Harbor. Very nice to meet you. Good handshake. Let me give this to you. Good job. You seem to have a, a, a great outlook, very positive. Um, you're very impressive, so um, I think you're going to do great. Um, just keep at it. Do you have any questions of me? Oh, 
um, do you have like any like advice for when I get to high school that will help me achieve my goal? Yeah, well, I would say just what we talked about earlier about not being afraid to ask for help. I think that's so important. I think um, I always encourage my kids to take the tougher courses um, and challenge yourself. In my opinion, a B on a hard course is better than an A on an easy course. Do you know what I'm saying? Because in the end, it's going to make you a better nurse or a better whatever as a professional. So, um, I mean, always, always push to do your very best. But I think challenging yourself, I think you get more from that. So, yeah, that would be that would be some of my advice. I think um, I tell my girls they don't. Oral communication skills are important, but so are written communication skills. And I don't know about you, but my girls do not like writing prompts. They would avoid them and run from the, run in the other direction, but I would say to do them over and over and over. Um, and the other thing I would say is um, to read. Read for pleasure. My Neither of my girls are big readers, my youngest especially, but it'll help you on all like the testing that comes when you're getting ready for college and stuff like that. Um, and I hope you take advantage of the programs at EC3 and that whole health career path because you can get certifications before you ever graduate, you know, from high school and be able to um, walk into employment opportunities right after you graduate or continue your education. So I would encourage that. So, but I can tell you've got a you've got a great energy, Sharon, and I am so impressed that you did this. This is really, really cool. Thank you. Yeah, Taylor came. Um, one, of your, one of your classmates came with it. So do you play baseball? Um, or I softball? Play, I used to play baseball last year. Mm -hmm. during, um, it was like during the springtime. Yeah. But I stopped once I moved here. Oh, really? Oh, you just recently moved here? I moved here this year in August. Oh, wow. Okay, where'd you move from? I moved from Vegas. Okay. That's hard. Yeah. yeah. It was it was a weird transition because like I went from living with my mom to living with my dad. Oh, okay. So Okay. And um I hope the community's been welcoming. Yeah, but making that change can be hard. So clearly you're a very brave person and you're very adaptable and you're very resilient. So don't forget that about yourself, right? Because sometimes it's hard. Being a teenager is hard. It's just hard. So um, but you're very impressive, and I'm very excited for your future. And it was an honor to get to talk to you. It was an honor to get to talk to you. Yeah, so thank you so much. Thank you. You have a great day. Me. Yeah, you thank you. Have a great summer. You too. It's almost here, right? Yeah. <laughs> My name is Beth Avey. Um, I'm the vice president of the Knox Regional Development Alliance. Um, and we work to promote and protect Fort Knox in this community and support military families. And I'm just honored to have the opportunity to participate in um, today's work ethic certification interviews. I love talking to these um, kids. They are um, really inspiring. Um, I love um, how prepared they are and how um, Hardin County Schools and North Middle here is really um, providing that foundation for these kids to be successful, um, not only in school, but in life afterwards, um, no matter what path they take. So it's been a lot of fun visiting with them, and it's always an honor to do this.